Dr. Singh, we today Mr. Chidambaram said that this ordinance is a starting point. And the question everyone's asking is, why couldn't the government have waited three more weeks for parliament to start, had a broader political consensus than even on the con uh, contentious issues, rather than rush through with an ordinance now? Uh, two or three points, Nidhi, as I said earlier in your program a couple of days ago. Uh, by the way, Nidhi, I'm having a huge echo of my own voice. Uh, I don't like my own voice that much. Uh, okay, we're just fixing that. The, the two, two or three points. Firstly, uh, an ordinance is an emergent, transitional, temporary measure. It must be seen as a beginning, starting point. It cannot be seen as the end. Number two, uh, the government believes that out of the 30, 25, 40 odd recommendations of the Varma Committee, there are five or seven which it can proceed with immediately and it has tried to do so. Uh, the ones it has rejected for the time being can of course again be uh, re-argued in Parliament and it can certainly yes. become part of the law despite an ordinance. So it is by no means an exhaustive or comprehensive exercise. I am myself writing on this and I believe that the government should, and as Mr. Chitambra has now clarified, that it is not an exhaustive exercise. But one final point. There are two or three areas where there is a, a great scope for two or three views. Obviously an ordinance should deal only with those areas which are broadly consensual and broadly people will not find them controversial. So it has plucked out those seven, eight areas. Personally, I believe marital rape is an issue which requires a lot of debate. For example, there are people, and I believe rightly consider, that marital rape, the existing law has struck the right balance because it provides that marital rape will be an offence where there is a decree of judicial separation. Whether it will apply for all cases of, uh, 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 without judicial separation decree is a vexed question. Remember, we have 498A on our statute book. 498A has been castigated by courts repeatedly. Uh, as yes, having been on the issue of dowry, a, a I'm, I'm going to now, come to those uh, specifics. Marital rape is much more. Yeah. Marital rape is much more offence. I, I will. Offense. I will come to those specifics a little later. But you're you're saying that this was a temporary measure. That there's no problem if an ordinance was promulgated now, taking into account at least those things that were immediately doable. Mr. D. Raja, let me ask you then for your reaction to this. Do you think that the government should have waited? The CPM had issued a statement uh, yesterday saying that when Parliament was to convene, in any case, shortly, the government should have waited and sought that broad political consensus. Do you agree? Uh, yes, uh, I agree because as uh, uh, Secretary of uh, my party, the Communist Party of India, I think uh, the government uh, stands thoroughly exposed. The government uh, resorted to very mean method of uh, taking credit uh, for uh, such uh, 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 ordinance because uh, government is well aware that parliament is going to meet for uh, par budget session. Government could have waited and government could have uh, reached out to all political parties for a consensus for an effective strong law against uh, sexual assault, against uh, rape. But uh, government uh, has brought the ordinance. Now it has to be placed before parliament and there will be debate in parliament. And government will have to bring a new bill replacing the ordinance. So it is a process one should try to understand. Instead of resorting to that route, government could have waited for parliament session. In fact, when the, after the horrendous crime that took place in Delhi, it took seven days for prime minister to address the nation. In fact, we were the first to demand that prime minister should come out and address the nation what is the government's reaction to all these horrendous crimes and uh, he took uh, more than seven days to address the nation and uh, government could have waited for some more days for parliament to meet india's number one news app just got even better download ndtv's new app fully optimized for retina display full screen view faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.